going? How has it How has it been going? Uh exciting, hectic. What fun actually. Let's put it that way. <laughs> in totally i understand so ma'am uh, first of all congratulations for having this debut on ott platform also we are really excited to see you thank you thank you so much it's a it's it's an it's a very interesting character i love it i i i have seen it and i love the trailer and i love how you have portrayed it so nicely and so you know elegantly this character i i just loved it <laughs> thank you thank you so much <laughs> So ma'am I have few questions for you. Uh to start with I have that you have been a judge on you know for the show on Zee TV. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, kya masti kya dhoom also initially. And yeah. now you know the, you have the ODT debut with Zee now. So how has the journey been like you know uh, balancing the theater and other forms of entertainment and you know so what do you think is is this a, a growing medium for more content? So what do you think is going on right now? So for me um I think when I did my first television show which was uh, like this talent show reality show Kamasti ke do as you mentioned I had just about finished Sarparosh and uh, you know hum saath saath hai so it was actually the industry it was a bit shocking everybody was like why is she doing television and what is happening and you know she's lost it kind of so but i was very glad i did it at that time i didn't realize it but today the people or the kids who watched that are um you know all grown up today and suddenly i was in not just in the theaters but i was in people's living rooms and that was wonderful um so i think i it 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 gave me a longer life without understanding it now when i look back this is what i my takeaway is for that uh when i had my child and um, i thought work, working on a reality was as close to being in an office as it came because you went to the same place to work and you had similar hours on the same days when you do fiction different sets different timings different cities you know it can be a morning shift it can be a night shift so that was something i wanted to avoid for the first few years i really wanted to be there as a parent and so i didn't want to take on fiction i wanted to take the break from fiction but being in front of the camera was just me and working i was always and i was working since i was 15 so i was always a working girl i didn't know how it is to not work and uh, so i continued doing the reality because that fell into place and helped me with my balancing of parent home work etc etc but now it's time to kind of expand a bit and there's just i think it's very exciting time so so where content is concerned because there's just so many platforms and there's just so many uh, uh there's so many places that um, stories can be told so what is happening is that you just have this explosion of new talent new voices and you can suddenly have stories uh, which you would have never thought could be told uh, you know you can tell those stories so voices that were never heard can be heard now because they have a platform so it's it i think it's a very exciting time and as an artist as an actor it's an extremely exciting time for me because i get to choose to do different things that is really great and as you said even i have never seen you not working and you know i've always seen you like you've battled all the odds and you know you've always fought and emerged the strongest and that inspires me a lot and you know you even were working when you were like i guess uh, around 8 months pregnant in yes, you know like i was yeah i was yeah. working till i was 8 months pregnant yeah right and even like post cancer you were working and yeah like so many uh, projects so what is your idea about work like being the best is it the best distraction from the lows of your life or it just gives you a motivation what is it to you oh my god i you know <laughs> oh earlier part of my career work was a was a paycheck which i needed very desperately so the choices i made was according to that i needed that money to come in i needed that paycheck it was the most important thing um as time has passed and i think there is a change also with what i went through in my life one thing that happens to you when you've been so close to death as you would say that you might not make it is that you get a lot of clarity and i think the clarity for me was that i might have come into this 
uh, this field by accident or by coincidence or whatever, fate, whatever it was. It was not something I chose to do. It just happened to me. But over a period of time now, when I look back and if I have to ask myself, what would I rather be? There's nothing I would rather do than be here in front of the camera or behind the camera. But in this field is what I'm saying. So once that clarity came to me and I'm like, why am I not working? And so when I came back, as I got better, it was like, I need to get back to work because that's what I really enjoy doing. And I need to be true to myself. I need to do what I enjoy doing. Okay. I mean, honestly, I, as I'm saying it again and again, but I have, you uh, you have been a big inspiration for me, honestly. <laughs> and, uh, talking about the broken news, uh, you're playing a role of a journalist, right? And with all the, you know, noise around and uh, as the TV sets blared up with debates and all. So what areas did you see that, you know, are the best of in, for, for Indian journalism uh, and which ones need some changes or a little bit of, you know, a diversion from what it has been like uh, since forever. And, you know, like in contrast to Western media and the whole Pavarazi culture as such also. So I think uh, we are pretty much in the same zone in the entire world. I don't think it is too different. Maybe the decibel levels might be different, but we are Indians, we are more emotional and we are all uh, the same. So maybe that could be different, but I think more or less we are all in the same zone where the world is concerned, where the media is heading. Uh, and I think that is because uh, we are heading in, in a, it's the way the society is and the way we are heading as a society. Media is part of that. And I think broken news is a mirror to the society where broken news, basically the journal, I, I play the editor in chief, uh, Amina Qureshi of the news channel called Avaz Bharti. And uh, I would say that um, to be an editor in chief, she's passed a certain amount of journey. She's lived a certain amount of life, which is very important for me because that's my age. So I'm, what I like about it is that now she's come to a point where she's been questioned all the time. She's questioning herself also. Radha, which is Shriya's character, who's the reporter. And, you know, she can see herself in that reporter, the young reporter, but she's not that anymore. Um, it's great at that younger age when you can just be purely idealistic. But as you grow older, you cannot be because you've lived life. And life has shown you that you can, this pure idealism doesn't work. So all those things are happening. So is Jaydeep's character, Dipankar Sanyal. You know, the, there are two different thought processes. And what we are showing the mirror to is asking the society that who is it that you want to watch? What do you want to see? You want to see the truth or do you want to see sensationalism? So do you want facts or do you want sensationalism? And that's the question we're asking. Such your yes, answer Choice is yours as a viewer because what you demand is going to be the supply. Correct. So what you demand is the key to it. You know, if you don't want your media to be like this, then you have to stop watching that. Okay. Uh, Ma'am, one last quick question for you. Uh, you know, everyone has been going through a lot since last two, three years. So does do you or maybe your character have a little small message for your fans out there who are going to watch your show? I think Amina would be the kind of person who would say, suck it up and get back to work. <laughs> you know, kind of a zone, you know, stop whining. Uh, me, Sonali, I would say that uh, there is no shame in asking for help. So uh, what you think is, oh, I think I can deal with it. You don't have to deal with things. There's no shame in asking for help. Reach out, ask for help, talk. And uh, it has helped me reaching out, asking for help. And talking it out, going through therapy has helped me. It can help. We've all been through unprecedented times in human human race has never seen this kind of this kind of a situation in the last what hundred years or more. So it is not normal. So let's stop treating it like normal. Understand that it's not normal. Reach out, ask for help, and you know try to find a way out. Thank you so much, ma'am. I'm a big fan of yours. And thank, thank you. you. Thank, thank you. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.